First question is from Double O Silk Drop. What is the best way to breathe during your heavy lifts? Mm. You know what? That's I'm glad that it was asked this way because breathing during heavy lifts is a little bit different than breathing doing, yes. uh, during high rep yeah. sets or when you're doing uh, stretches or mobility type stuff. So the best way to breathe when you're doing a heavy lift, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume this is really low reps too. So we're not talking about, you know, we're talking about heavy low rep sets. Yeah. You want to take a, a deep breath in and then you want to brace your core. Then you want to do your heavy lift. As you come up, you could do two things. Either one, if it's, especially if it's really low reps, you can let your breath out at the top of the rep when you're done. So you hold your breath the entire time. Or two, you let it out while bracing yeah. your core and, and keeping your diaphragm active and tight. So it sounds like... Yeah, you know, I call it like breathing through your teeth because yeah. you're really staying like braced and tight, but like you're it's it's like restrictive air that's coming out. Some yes. some will just flat out say hold breath. Like it's yeah. a, a lot of like your uh, even your your most advanced power lifters uh, when they do a heavy bench press, a heavy deadlift, or a heavy squat, they get in position they and they brace their core, mm -hmm. and when they brace, they tense and hold breath for that rep, yep. and then at the top of the rep, but they're is, still going. Ugh! Which is air is coming out. That's right. I was so, just gonna say yeah. it, it's that I, I I will allow the the breath to come out, but I'll I'll do that. I'll grunt yeah. or I'll make a sound, and that's my way of letting the breath out very controlled. You know, they, they they by the way, this is a technique they teach in a lot of practices in yoga. I was gonna say, have you done any of those pregnancy uh, breathing classes? No, yet with not the yet. <laughs> do they do that? Those are fun, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah, they do that. I just you know when I picture that whole process. <laughs> That I picture her just like looking at me like an asshole when I'm trying. Hey, honey, remember <laughs> breathe like this. It'll be better. You know yeah. the hilarious thing is, I was in a class with that, and you have the, like for for the husbands or the guys there, or whatever. They made us like put our hand in ice and, and hold it and like try and breathe through it. I'm like, this has nothing to do with with the pain they're going to experience. You're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it'll yeah. make, it'll get I'm you like, even, I can do this all day. Get, get <laughs> you, know? you in even bigger yeah. tr trouble, honey. Listen, I know, I know what it's like. I remember I had my hand hand in the ice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's bringing up like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like you mid, saw how long. I did it for. Come yeah. on, yeah. Oh, dude, a piece yeah. of cake. Yeah, no, I mean, you you know, again, it's in lots of practices. Yoga teaches uh, a breath that comes through the back of the throat. They'll say where you're tight and controlled, and you breathe out. Um, martial artists uh, teach us a lot. Boxers, you ever hear a boxer? Um, you know, shadow boxing. Mm -hmm. What do you hear? <laughs> right, uh, Muay Thai fighters. Yep. So your breath, uh, actually, it's uh, it, it's a it's a big part of you being able to exert maximal force, and the reason is. When you hold and tense in your breath, you're maintaining really, really good, uh, tight stability um, throughout your core. So when you're getting those heavy breaths, you deep breath in, hold it. Like imagine you're doing a squat. Go down. As you come up, either continue to hold your breath or do what I do, which is breathe out, but through a grunt or you know through pressure. Well, this is where those core activating techniques kind of come into play when you're doing like cat, cow, or whatever, and you're just trying to brace and then teach your client then how to keep that tightness, but now breathe through it and like you know be able to still do that because you want it to be natural too at the same yeah. time. You don't want to think you have to consciously think about how you're breathing while you're doing your reps. You end up getting dizzy and, and <laughs> it, it like ruins your performance. Well, the, the only the only time I see this go wrong is when when you give that we give that advice to kind of like hold your breath through it, which is totally fine for a heavy lift, a single lift, uh, is you hold it. It's someone who's lifting, like let's say, five heavy reps, and they think it's a good idea to hold your breath the entire time through five reps. No, you'd have to you'd have to breathe in between reps. Right, every rep you reset. Right, mm -hmm. you it, whether that be deadlifting, squatting, bench pressing, overhead, whatever you're doing, you can hold and brace for that one lift, and then breathe again, hold and brace for that next one too. Really, really. You can even catch your breath at the top. Sometimes That's what I'm you have saying. to take two or three yeah, breaths. Yeah, no, absolutely. But like, now this 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 isn't necessarily what you'd want to do with a high rep set. Right. Like I'm not doing 20 reps of squats and doing that for every rep. I would no. end up yeah, no way. It wouldn't work. I'd be <laughs> it'd be 30 minutes of squats. So with with that, with the higher reps, you you tend to breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Now, that's that's the advice. That is the that is the generic typical advice, but because you know, we advocate for manipulating with tempo, meaning that there's times where you might do a four, six second negative. Yeah. You're not going to breathe on that cadence. And so what I used to tell clients is the most important thing when we're lifting weights and we're doing this is that you remember to breathe because some people will, because it's challenging or hard, they get in their head so much. They, they hold their breath the entire time because they're like, mm -hmm. look, paying attention to what they're doing. They don't realize they're tensing up and holding breath. I do this like uh, when I'm concentrating, it's a bad habit of mine. Like I'll be, 
doing something and I'll be really focused on it. I'm so focused that I my I stop my breathing to like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you hear me go, <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, because I don't. So clients do this sometimes when they exercise. So I don't do that when I exercise. I do that when I'm like thinking on something, whether it be work or paper or some shit that I'm doing. That will cause me to do it. Some clients do that when they're exercising through 10 or 15 reps. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hold your breath. You want to breathe. Breathe in and out, normal. That's the idea while you're doing that. The only time that I would say you can hold your breath is for single reps at a time at, 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 when you're doing you heavy want lifting. it for tension okay now there's an opposite side to this let's say you're doing uh yin yoga or static stretching deep static stretching or let's say you're you're on a foam roller and you're really trying to work out you know muscles and tight areas don't hold your breath yeah. because holding your breath sends a signal to the central nervous system that says stay tight when you're doing static stretches uh, which, if you do them properly, can be a part of a mobility program, that, but properly, you got to be done right. You don't want to hold your breath while holding a no, long it's static stretch. It's all about stretch. the exhale. You want to relax. exhale is the release. Yeah, you want to relax yeah, into so. the stretch and breathe. You don't want to be tight and tense because right. it'll prevent performance in that particular you know, uh, modality or whatever. So breathing is very important. Uh, just think of it this way. Holding your breath or breathing tensely, that's when you want tension. Breathing smooth and slow, that's when you want things to be relaxed.